So what's going on everybody, welcome back to this channel where today we are coming back with another top 5 and in this top 5 today we are going to be looking at perks, the top 5 perks within Black Ops 4 Zombies. Now as you may or may not know, Black Ops 4 actually has a bunch of perks that we can choose from, some of them brought in from previous Call of Duty Zombie games and others are brand new. So I figured I'll do a top 5 on my personal opinion on which ones are the top 5 best perks for overall use. Now obviously everyone's going to have their own opinion on these top 5 perks and with something like this it will change up a lot depending on whether you're playing the game for a high round for an easter egg just for a bit of fun if you're trying to do a challenge and the list goes on and on if you're playing solo with two players three players or four players that will change up which four perks will work best for your particular game but i'm looking at it from an overall standpoint in my opinion which four perks are the best to use so with that being said obviously i would like you guys to put down in the comments below which four perks you personally love the best within black ops 4 zombies and if you are new around here go ahead and subscribe to the channel for more zombies content and with all that out of the way let's dive straight into the video with the first one which in no particular order is going to be stamina up now stamina up has been in every zombies game since black ops 1 so black ops 1 2 3 and now black ops 4 it was introduced on ascension and i think ascension was a great map for stamina up to be on because ascension was a fairly big map and there was quite a few things you had to do on ascension to run around on the map but bringing it into Black Ops 4 is just as good. Obviously, stamina up is just a very basic perk and it lets you sprint for a lot longer. And your movement is also better. So if you have a heavy weapon, if you have an LMG in your hand, for instance, and you can run with that really heavy gun like it's a pistol. And over the years, zombies have become faster. So they've become harder to actually avoid. And this is no exception for Black Ops 4. The zombies in Black Ops 4 are really fast and almost to the point where you can't outrun them even with stamina up. I've had it over the past few days while playing this game that even with stamina, the zombies will still be keeping up a good pace and they'll be literally like only a couple of steps behind me. So it's for that reason that I think stamina should be on this list and again this list is in no particular order but I just think that stamina is a must have perk to have within Black Ops 4 and the only exception would be is if you decide to go for like a high round and you're deciding to camp for your strategy. So if you didn't know within Black Ops 4 you have perk modifiers if you put it on your fourth perk machine then you can have a modifier attached to the perk and each perk have something different. So with stamina up, when you have a modifier, you have unlimited sprint and you can also fire your weapons while sprinting, which is an amazing like upgrade from just normal stamina. Up. Being able to fire weapons while you're sprinting means that you don't have to slow down and shoot zombies and then speed up again. You could just carry on running and shoot them at the same time. So again, for me, I think this is a great entry into this list. So we're going to go into the number four perk right here, which is going to be Dying Wish. What is Dying Wish, you might ask? Because it is a new perk and we've only seen it within Black Ops 4. We've not seen it previous. And what Dying Wish does is that when you're getting attacked by zombies and your health gets reduced down to like really low health, as soon as you hit to the point of where you're about to go down, rather than going down, you come into this like berserk mode and you have nine seconds to get out of this situation that you're stuck in. So it'll give you nine extra seconds in order to throw a grenade or throw a monkey bomb or knife your way out of there or whatever you need to do in order to get away from the zombies for nine seconds. During this berserk mode, your melee damage is greatly increased, so getting your way out there with your knife is actually a really good way of doing it if you don't have a really good weapon. Now with Dying Wish as a box standard perk, if you're not looking at the modifier, when you come out of berserk mode, you're on one health and you have to be away from zombies, otherwise if they hit you, they're going to kill you straight away because they do 50 health per hit. So you have one health and you just have to stay away from zombies for a few seconds until your health starts to build its way back up to 200. However, if you have the modifier, as in if you have Dying Wish as your fourth perk, then when you come out of berserk mode, you will have full health so you don't have to worry about that. This perk to me is the most overpowered perk in the entire game. Because you go into berserk mode, you don't go down, and because you don't go down, you don't lose a life. Obviously in solo, you only have three lives, so if you use Dying Wish, you actually get a lot more chances to get out of those sticky situations with zombies, and rather than going down, you just go into berserk mode, get out of it, and then you can carry on with your game. Now with Dying Wish, the way it works is that once you've gone into berserk mode, you come out and you heal up and you carry on training again, you'll see in the bottom where your perk is, that Dying Wish will slowly regenerate. And what it does is it will regenerate until the next Berserk mode is possible. If you go down before it's regenerated, you'll simply just lose a life. And keep in mind that every time you go down, the cooldown rate increases. In other words, it gets slower every time that you go down using Dying Wish with the Berserk mode. So like if you've used it five times, it will recharge a lot slower than when you've used it your first time. So the next perk on this list coming into the number three spot is going to be Quick Revive. Now, as we all know, in a co-op game, when you use Quick Revive in any other Call of Duty game, it just revives the player really fast. And that's a really decent perk to have. 
In any other Zombies game apart from Black Ops 4, when you use Quick Revive on Solo, it will revive you as a player, but in Black Ops 4 you already have three lives. From the get-go, you have the three lives, so in Black Ops 4, Quick Revive is used in a different way. So obviously in a co-op game, it will still revive players really fast, and that's still a thing. But also in both Solo and co-op, it's a shorter delay before regenerating health, so if you get hit by a zombie, you don't have to wait quite quite as long for the health to regenerate and when it's going up from x to 200 to your full health it actually builds up the health in a faster rate as well and if you have it as a modifier then it gains a movement speed boost after health regeneration starts also if you're in a co-op game with the modifier by reviving your teammate it will grant both players full health and a movement speed boost so as you can see quick revive is definitely a lot better than it was in previous games because not only does it do what it did previously but it also now does a lot more especially towards your health so with people not liking the fact that Juggernog isn't in the game, this is somewhat of a way to get yourself some health back. And though it isn't the same, it's about as close as you're going to get within Black Ops 4. So coming down to the number 2 spot in this list is going to be a new perk called Time Slip. Now this is a personal favourite of mine, not everyone will probably think is as useful as I do, but basically the equipment cooldown rate will be increased which means that you don't have to wait as long for your equipment to be used. So that could be your Hell's Redeemer, your Monkey Bombs, your Homunculus or anything else you have in that slot. And I'm pretty sure this also means that it could work for your specialist weapon as well, because they all work on a cooldown rate as opposed to waiting for a max ammo to give them full power. This perk also allows you to hit the mystery box faster, so when you're hitting the mystery box, you can hit a mystery box and rather than waiting like 5 or 6 seconds for the animation of the gun spinning, it will literally just bring a gun up within about half a second and you're able to pick the gun up. And then you can just go through guns in the mystery box a hell of a lot faster. And to go hand in hand with this, you can also pack a bunch of your weapons a lot faster as well. This can be very useful if you need to quickly pack a bunch your weapon quite a few times, because in this game, when you pack a bunch your weapon, you then need to pack a punch it four more times in order for it to be at its full potential for damage. So to pack a punch it normally to do it four times over is going to take you a while, but with this perk, it's going to take you a lot less. This also greatly reduces the trap and fast travel cooldown. So just after you use the trap or a fast travel, this perk will help it to cool down quick so you can use the trap or the fast travel a lot sooner than what you would normally be able to. The modifier for this perk isn't the greatest. The modifier reads as special weapon charge rate and elixir cooldown rate are slightly increased. So all it does is just slightly increases the cooldown rate of like your equipment and your elixirs as well. So that's not really too important unlike some of the other perks that we mentioned in this list. But the perk is a standalone perk. It's a really cool one to use. And if you've not used it, I would really recommend just using it and seeing if you like it. So I'm going to do a very quick honorable mention right here before we get into the number one spot, which is going to be Victorious Tortoise. Now this perk is a really cool perk, but I just couldn't put it onto the list. And what Victorious Tortoise does is basically when you have your shield, if you put it in front of you, it will then put a shield around the entire player. This basically means that zombies, if they try to hit your back, they won't be able to because you have like a shield around the entire player. And when the shield breaks, it will have like a little explosion, which will like bring the zombies back. So then you have a second or two to yourself just to like get yourself together basically. And for the modifier, the Victorious Tortoise will give you shield bash attacks that can knock down heavy and mini bosses. So it seems like a cool perk, but the only reason I didn't really include it into this list is because you have to have the shield in order to use it. So if you don't have a shield, this perk is redundant. Like, there's no benefit from having this perk if you don't have a shield. If it wasn't for that, I would have probably put this on the list and replaced it with one of the others. Now we're going to go down into the number one spot for this list, which is going to be Bandit Bandit. Now this perk lets you carry increased ammo stock which basically means you get more bullets. And ammo in zombies is literally everything. If you don't have ammo it's very hard to survive. So this perk right here is perfect for people who always seem to run out of ammo. And this is also very useful for a high round run. Just go ahead and use this bandit bandit and you should be all set for ammo. When you use it as a modifier it will refill the ammo of stowed weapons from ammo stock over time. So depending on what weapon you use that with that can be very useful. I think it would work really well with LMGs for instance. I don't think it'll work as well with like wonder weapons that have a very small amount of ammo in their stock but that is going to be it for this list today guys so i hope you did enjoy it and i hope you agree with at least some of the entries in this list like i said at the beginning this is my own personal opinion and you guys are going to have different opinions as well so do put those down in the comments below subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one thank you so much for watching and peace out